Hi, welcome to my Spanish apartment. So when I got to Spain, I traveled around a bit at first and I stayed in hostels and Airbnbs. And the Airbnbs were usually just, I rented a room in a house. I could see how people lived, how everything was laid out and notice some differences between Spanish apartments and say apartments in the US. There's no carpet. It's always tile, ceramic floors. This is to keep the houses cooler. The kitchens are usually very, very separate. There's usually a long, sometimes narrow hallway that kind of leads to the bedrooms, the bathroom. Most of the time, there's no heat. So I got here in the winter time and I'm living through the winter and I'm feeling the winter because it is cold. You come home and it's like the same temperature as outside. Luckily, I have some heating here, so I am surviving just fine. Okay, let me just like take you off this tripod and <laughs> let's do this vlog thing where I hold the camera really close to my face and then I'm like, what is that? But I'm not looking at myself, I'm looking at you. Okay, so let's do a little tour of the apartment. I had a housewarming party for my friends and let's go see what they thought of the place. Okay, we're gonna try like this, like real, <laughs> real vloggers. Okay. So this is Elena. Hello, I'm Juliet. Juliet. Yes. Marion. So this is my dining room. Okay. Comedor. Si. Comedor. Comedor. Okay. Comedor. What do you want to see first? Uh, your bedroom. The when bedroom. You okay, yeah. right over here, girls. Hey, okay, go to the bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Elena, one track mind. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, but it's so big. big. Yeah. I know. Wow. I like need someone to share it with me. Oh my people. god. Are you proposing? <laughs> I have no job, but I have an office. Plenty of space. Okay. We have a terrace. Oh, we can smoke here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This is the best room. This is abandoned, I think. Okay, let's party there. Elena, is this the typical <laughs> Spanish apartment? Well, it is a modern Spanish apartment <laughs> because a typical Spanish apartment would have like the kitchen and the drawers and everything would be like so old. I don't know, just like the furniture seems more modern, but I guess it could be also on a like a normal uh, Spanish. <laughs> I think it's all um, IKEA. It um, seems like the Spanish kitchens are usually like closed. Yeah, um, like they're you closed. can close the door. Yeah, yeah we, we actually call this like a American kitchen. Because oh, it's really? open yeah, to, it's to the, the oh, really? to that American oh, yeah. kitchen. Like all together, it's not Spanish at all. And the floor is not <laughs> Spanish. Mm, it could be. Like my mom is planning to put like this kind of floor right now. What a wonderful mm, comida. I love it. Thank you, Erica. What are we making? Uh, mojitos. <laughs> I am um, pressing the lemon. Press. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now we're here in the light of day. Okay, so here's the entrance way, and we have many, many locks. Little dining room table. I made it a little nice for you. And we have the bedroom. Got my sloth blanket, which I have on me basically all day. My little wardrobe. So clothes here, shoes. Oh, don't look in there. Okay, and here the oficina. So, and many Spanish apartments have some kind of balcony or terraza, or at least, at least a place to stick your head outside the window. Most of these neighbors, there's nobody there. Close that here. And this is uh, another bed that I put up on the wall because I'm not using it, but it is a guest bed. Here's my favorite part of this apartment right now in the winter. It's my heater. It's not on right now. And then the kitchen area. The oldest microwave. Um, it's like it's from the 60s. Ooh, I need to clean it. But it works really, really well. And then in Spain, most people use percolators to make their coffee. I have been just heating up water and making instant because I have no class. So many Spanish apartments have these interior windows like this so that you're just kind of looking at 
the rest of the building. Just the way you can see my neighbor. It's kind of awkward. Light comes in, but not tons of light. And then you have the exterior windows. Okay, and bathroom. This one has been updated. You know, it looks nice. So in Spain right now, it's cool to have fancy, but not very functional showers. So like this one, you can see it's just like a wall of glass and then nothing. So what happens is the water comes out here. I always have to put like, to put this towel down, but I think the water comes out and it goes like all the way here. And then there's like mold issues here. And it is a humid place. So there's stuff like mold happening here. Hopefully I won't get too sick from that. And in Spain, the washing machine is in the kitchen. And a little dishwasher. And then like most places in the world, there are not dryers, so drying rack it is. And then since it's so humid here, sometimes this sits here for days and they don't dry. So, so then I turn the fan on. Okay, clearly I don't know how to hang a sheet. One special thing about Valencia is the water it tastes really bad. There's a lot of calcium in it. I need to go buy some more water and throw away some trash because I made some fish soup the other day and I put the fish skin in the trash. It needs to be thrown out. So why don't you come with me? Okay, got my my fish bags. All the trash and recycling in Spain is just, they're just in these like bins on the street. I have glass, regular trash, paper, plastic and other things. And then there's a actually compost too, which is pretty sweet. Okay, and now I'm going to get my water over at the corner market. I lugged my water up here. And I got here, was living in Airbnbs and I was just like, so overwhelmed by trying to find an apartment. I would go on Idealista and try to contact agents or owners and like they mostly wouldn't get back to me. But this one landlord, he called me and he was like, what's your story? Where are you from? And yeah, and he was like, you wanna come see the place? And I was like, sure. And he, oh, it looks nice. The living room's kind of dark, which now I realize there is a ton of light in this apartment. And then I walked to the beach. I was like, wow, it's so close to the beach. And I called my mom and was like, I'm so stressed. Apartment shopping here is so stressful. There's so much competition. Anyway, the landlord called me and I was, cause I was like, I'm interested. And he was like, do you want the place? And I was like, yes. The rent is 675 euros per month, which includes the Wi-Fi. Electric is separate. So I can tell you that it is 69 square meters constructed. So that includes the walls, and everything in the kitchen appliances. So another thing I'm getting used to in Spanish apartments are the thin walls. So I like to sing and I'm just a little shy about singing. I could sing pretty loud. And my friend Elena, who has always lived in apartments in Spain, she was like, listen, I can hear the senor above me peeing every day because for some reason his bathroom's right above my bedroom. You can hear people having sex, hear people fighting. And she's just like, you sing, you do your thing. And it's Spain, people are used to it. Hopefully she's right. <laughs> and maybe I'm just making excuses not to sing. That's another issue. Okay, some things I love about this apartment. I love how much light there is. I love that it's updated, reformado. It's quiet. There is like nothing happening on this street. There's a little bit of construction during the day, but no bars. It's close to the beach, five minute walk to the beach. A good price, I'm happy with the price. It is a price that you would pay for one room in a house in Denver and not a very good house. Very happy with the landlord. He's very responsive when I have questions. He follows my YouTube channel, just like you should. And of course I love that there are heaters. Things I don't love, I don't love that there's no elevator. I don't use the elevator that much, but when you bring your cart to the grocery store and bring it home full, you know, it's like difficult to bring it up the stairs. My bike, I leave my bike like in the 
utility closet and I put a sign on there <laughs> being like, it's very difficult to bring my bike upstairs. If this is a problem, you can call me at this number. It's been there for weeks and no one's taken it. Incredible. I also don't love that this area is kind of like poorly connected. The transportation is, oh, it's not the greatest. So I'll sometimes take a bus into the center or I take the light rail. But oftentimes if I come home like after 10, I'll try to take the light rail back and it stops two stops <laughs> before my stop because it's just like, it's done for the night. Like that's, and then it goes off to wherever subways go to sleep at night. And then I have to like either walk the rest of the way or like get a Valenbisi, get a bicycle and bike the rest of the way. So there's a lot of gaps in the transportation. We'll say that. So I have found that both Spaniards and foreigners alike can struggle to find an apartment. I met a Spanish guy who has been looking for an apartment near the beach for like a year with no luck. When I told him about my apartment, he like almost strangled me. <laughs> So I feel like when people see my apartment and they hear the price, there is a good reaction and I feel like I made a good decision in snagging this one. Let me know in the comments if you have experience renting in Spain. I'm sure there's a lot of good stories out there. Now it's getting a little bit chilly sitting around here. I think I'm going to go to the beach and warm up a bit. Until next time, bye!